Adam, I discovered, who's here from the US as a reporter, is a fantastic cook. And so I asked him to come and share one of his recipes with us. Uh, what are we going to make today, Adam? We're going to make gnocchi, which is a potato pasta with a little bit of potato, a little bit of flour, some egg, salt, pepper, and a few other things. Potato pasta. It's a really simple recipe that is um, really delicious. Because normally you would need like these fancy pasta machines to make like, you know, spaghetti yeah. or ravioli, or, and you don't need anything like that. So shall we get started? Let's do. We already have the potatoes ready. Right. So. What have we done here with the potatoes? Now, you can boil them like we've done here. Right. Or you can bake them. Okay. And then we dump them in here. Okay. Let's dump them in there. Right. And don't be afraid to get your hands a little dirty. <laughs> We're going to be getting pretty dirty here. Yeah. It's the Sankosh way, my dad. All right. <laughs> we're going to grab a mash. And we start. We just mash them up. Right. You know? Okay. And while I'm doing this, what would be great is if you could start the sauce. I like a guest like this. Okay, I will start the sauce. Here we, we go. need a little bit of olive oil. A little bit of olive oil. Actually, let me use the bigger boona. Just try one of those garlic. Okay. Either minced up or put through a garlic press. Okay. And once those are going, we have some chopped onions. Okay, cool. And just, just let those get golden. So just a clove of garlic, just one? Yeah, I think that'll be enough. Okay. We'll see. If we want another one, we'll... So Adam, tell me where you learned about this gnocchi. Uh, gnocchi, although it's an Italian dish, um, it's also very popular in a lot of Italian expat communities. And I lived in Argentina for a while. Right. And my brother-in-law taught me, and then I kind of took over the recipe. Right, so. you took over the recipe. Yeah. OK. So um, <clears throat> you've been here in Trinidad for a while now. How's that going? It's going well. I got here right at Carnival. Right. That was kind of crazy time. <laughs> Don't move to Trinidad. <laughs> All right, so um, my onions are looking pretty good here. Okay, you may want to take the heat down just slightly. Yep, sure. And I'd like to throw in a little chili flakes. Oh, right. If you like it spicy, do maybe two pinches. Okay. If you don't like it too spicy, just one. Let's just do one and okay. a half. It gives a nice little zing okay. to the sauce. So this Not is, everyone um, does that. You don't have to do that, but. Okay, so this is chili flakes, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. And then, one for another. Just make sure the garlic doesn't get burned. Yeah, no, it's doing okay. Stirring. Yeah. I guess you know that. <laughs> this is I cook from time to time. <laughs> it's okay, we're going good here. Go on. And I'm going to put some tomatoes in. Okay. All right. This is just a tin of plummy tomatoes. A large tin. Now, while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead, and before that comes to boil, I'm going to take the egg yolks here. And okay. we had about four potatoes here. Um, so with that many potatoes, you'd want to use two eggs or two egg yolks. I like to just use the yolks. So what I do now is I'm going to go ahead and crack these eggs. I'm going to put some pepper and some salt in there. And I'm going to se separate the white uh, from the yolk. Yeah. As you can see. Disgusting pepper. And just a little trick, you know. <laughs> kind of just let the white fall either through your fingers or through, Oops, yeah, the white just got out, and all I have is the yolk. Right, okay, cool. I got a little salt. Yeah. Um, so, you know, when we, I don't think in Trinidad we do. make um, tomato sauce and just sort of serve it, literally just sort of as it is. We're always going to add meat or sausage or something like yeah. that. Is that, I mean, is this how we're going to put this on the um, pasta? Or? Well, uh, friends of mine in Argentina and Italy, kind of think the pasta should shine, especially like a gnocchi. Right. So if I'm taking the time to make this really lovely dumpling, yeah. I don't know that I want to have a, a meat sauce. I mean, right. I can. I might make a pesto sauce. You might go to a party and someone makes gnocchi, and you'll have a red sauce, a pesto sauce, right. or even a cheese sauce. Right. And how's the sauce going? The sauce is, I think it's pretty much, you know, Yeah. Simple. <laughs> You want to um, sprinkle some uh, salt and pepper yeah, in here, into, that. not into the sauce, but okay. here for me. I like sure. to put a lot of black pepper, Okay. and you should put a good amount of salt, too, okay. so it's kind of cooked in. That's probably good. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll add the salt. Salt? Yeah. More? That sh should be good. Yeah. This is looking very good. 
Okay, how does that go? I think we're ready to add the flour. Okay. So this gets where it gets a little messy. You know, okay. if you like hands-on things, it's great. If not, we have love your hands have your things. kid come in or yeah. <laughs> your nephew or niece. Uh, do you want me to just how much? You can. Yeah, let's start with two of those at least, and then we'll see. Two cups of flour. Yeah. This is regular flour. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll kind of. Gnocchi is not really a fine science, but you do want to have the equilibrium between the, the yeah. flour and the potato quite right or it gets too doughy or not right. enough. Right. So okay. I start mixing it with the spoon, but after a while I just have to dig in with my hands. Right, because it gets too heavy. Yeah. You know what I'm going to ask you to do? What's that? Clear this cutting board out and sure. douse a little flour, sprinkle sure. it on the counter. You finish with a spoon? Yeah. So we're going to sprinkle a little flour on the counter. I mean, it's not too wet actually, is it? No, it's 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 coming along. It's like so. Then I'm just going to pop it that? there. Are you done? Yeah. And this is basically just kneading. I'll do this for a bit, see if we have enough flour in there. So I'm going to taste it. It's just my little thing okay. to see if it's close. It's feeling pretty together, you know, so let's see. It tastes like it should. It needs a little salt. Okay. Maybe I'll put a little more in, knead it in. Okay. But if you don't want to, if you don't taste it, because it kind of just sprinkle on the top? Yeah. Okay, cool. And if you don't want to taste it, you just make it, and if it needs salt later, just put it on once it's on the plate. Okay. The next step mm -hmm. is we're just going to cut it up and roll it out and okay. make the dumplings. Okay. Okay, do you want me to help you with I'm anything? I'm making a mess or? here in your, your kitchen. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, did you put basil in the um, um, No, I sauce? didn't. Maybe we'll just put a little, do you have any fresh basil? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm very proud of that. Grown in my own garden. Here we go. Just a little fresh basil. You're like, is that? I, I, I mean, I love basil, so I could plonk all of this in if that's Great. okay with you. Yeah, take over. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tear up these leaves a bit. What I tend to do is just put the basil in and almost immediately turn off the sauce, so that you just have it really sort of fresh and oh, green. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Like a springy. Is that flavor. okay with you? That's if I great. Do that? Yeah. And the sauce is looking great. The tomatoes have cooked down a lot. They look nice. Well, while I start to roll this out, All right? Will you make sure our water's boiling? We want to have a kind of sure rolling boil. Okay. Uh, what do you say, in the cooking world? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Come on, Mario. Hot boil. <laughs> My mom's gonna kill me if she sees it. <laughs> okay, so this is looking decidedly dumpling esque to me. You, you went to high school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You find us sticking on the dumpling, no shell. Yeah. <laughs> Trinity's like the dumpling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love a dumpling. <laughs> and look here, you see how it's getting a little uneven? Yeah. So you just want to, you know, even that out as much as you can. I'm going to make a few of these strips. Okay. Can I do one? I would love that. <laughs> Get some flour in those hands. Yeah, we got some flour on the hands. And you start it in your hand. Right. And then just roll it out. Okay. So it's quite... You want to do one too? <laughs> yeah, of course. It's a nice texture actually. It's really sort of soft. But I, I'm not... I, I try to use my fingers to spread out the pressure. If you can... Right. Okay. To try to... You see? Okay. It's really uh, a tactile yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Hands on. Very hands on. But I... Um, Clearly, my ruling skills to not match yours. <laughs> well, it takes, you know, I've been making this for about five years. So, we've got various tubes, tubes of various lengths. So, what do we have to do now? Here's what I need you to do. Will you get that pan we put aside? Yeah. And yeah. I'll move our. Let me clear away some space here for us. Our gnocchi to be cut up. You can do this quite fast. Okay. Too. And 
if you could get a fork out. Sure. Be great. A fork. Sure, so we got two, so I can do. Yeah. So maybe. Uh, what yeah, else? This is perfect. Okay. So I'm just gonna cut these up, so we can start. Um, actually, I'll do the other way, so you can grab them. Okay. So what I do is I just go through. We put a little flour. Sure. On the, mm -hmm. You need to dust that because this might be put into the fridge or something as you're making a lot. And then, if you've had gnocchi in a restaurant, they usually have these stripes on them. Right. So you kind of flick it. You got to put a little bit of pressure. Right. And if you can see. Yeah, we got a stripe. We got yeah. four stripes. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's give it a shot. Yeah. You want to try that? Yeah. That's the trickiest part. Okay. Know, it's giving that. They actually sell tools in Italy and Argentina that. Are these wooden spoons? So I'm just what I'm gonna go. A little harder, right on top. That's pretty. <laughs> bad. But that's all right. <laughs> You'll get better. Oh, that's a bit of a disaster. <laughs> you just gotta, it's not gonna break. Okay. You know, right, almost cool. like you're squashing like, something. Right. Yeah. Okay. All so right. I'll go ahead. You want to cut some rows? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna really cut. You better um, do that thing. Okay. Right. And again, I like, like some so. about that long, but. Like These so? are perfect, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let me, come on, the, let me come on this side of you, yeah. I think I'm making squares, not sort of rectangles. That's perfect. I mean, A lot yeah. of people actually like that, that are smaller. We're doing all right. You want me to? You're doing great. Yes, I'm an excellent chopper. Okay. I think we've done enough. Yeah. 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 Got a plate full of gnocchi. Yeah, and how's and our it, how's our water doing? Our water is rolling. <laughs> rolling. <laughs> yes. Water. Rolling away. Let's go. All right. So this is kind of tricky because you got a lot of hot water. Right. And your hands close. Right. But the way I do it on this pan, you may want to do it on a round plate. But you just got to get it close. And because you don't want to mush it all together yeah, as you you're putting it in, you want them to yeah. be separate. Yeah, so you okay. could maybe even just drop them in. Okay. So what I'm going to do is why don't we just start with that. Okay. And I'll put these in the fridge. You want me to put the lid on put to the get lid the boil on until going? the boil comes back. Okay. Great, I was just going to check to see if they've come to a boil yet. Okay. And they have, wow. <laughs> and they're floating which at this point, they've been floating like that. They're pretty much ready to go. Okay. okay. Yeah. And do you have a, why don't we go ahead and plate it now? Sure. I can get some, you, okay. you do that. I'll All right. Nice. So as I'm doing it, I'm just kind of. Just some sauce. Yeah, that'd be great. Like just all over the top? Yeah. Just all over the top. Yeah. Okay. I kind of like mine really saucy. Yeah. You can also just do olive oil with cheese or a pesto sauce. Yeah. And we've got some um, we've got some grated parmesan here, which we're just gonna sprinkle. How much do you want? Yo. Yeah. More? Nah. Yeah. That's perfect. All right. Uh, shall we have a taste? Yeah, let's try. <laughs> it's gonna be hot. I'm always frightened of burning my mouth. There we go. Alright, dig in. Dig in. Okay, it's gonna be hot. It's very hot. It's steaming. <laughs> mm hmm That's delicious, Adam. That's great. Thank you. Mm hmm You did it too, Maya. Yeah, but a man who cooks, we love it. <laughs>